Hello dear friends. So I have some friends asking about making yogurt. I will do a yogurt video from beginning to the end. So you turn on the fire and uh, <coughs> clean the pot and dry the pot and then put in yogurt. Just like this. Okay. Milk. You can put full cream milk, normal milk, whole milk, or put um, or put uh, uh, low fat, non fat, any kind because uh, the the chemical reasoning of it did not change, it's the fermentation, the bacteria development of the milk, so that does not matter. Some friends ask how about, uh, <coughs> how about uh, uh, soya milk. I do not know, so I better not to uh, give any wrong information, but uh, it might be the same thing as uh, it is the protein bacteria development, whether it's a <coughs> whether it's whether it's animal protein or vegetable protein, and this one is already done. I, I actually do not need this much of uh, yogurt today, but uh, it is good for digesting and, uh, and uh, you can keep it uh, for weeks, so I just uh, do some extra. So when it is first done, this one is done maybe because at the end I put the water a little bit too hot. And uh, so it, it has some water, it, nothing wrong with it. And this water is very delicious to eat, to drink. It's one of the best part of the yogurt actually. And uh, <coughs> it is very soft, very, very, very soft. And uh, <coughs> you put into refrigerator, let it rest for a few hours. Something like uh, how long it can take rest? It is edible already, but it just does not have a firm texture. Put in two hours or three hours, it starts to have a firm texture. And uh, you can put as long as you can, up to one week. This is actually what I do. I usually finish my yogurt in uh, two or three days, not uh, too much longer than, than that. And uh, it is said can be put for longer time, but I have never tried. And uh, it is not so difficult to eat. It is so easy when you are thirsty, when you are hot, when you are hungry, you eat this yogurt. So after after making yogurt, I have a, I have a large amount, big time to increase my yogurt. Refrigerator. Mm. Oh, uh, one very important thing I should do now is to prepare my vanilla before it is too late. Okay, put things away and my vanilla. Oh my God. A little board for cutting vanilla. And, uh, open up one vanilla bean. I like it uh, when it is original. 
Mm, it smells good. The original vanilla. It is uh, much more, uh, much more refined. It has much less flavor. And, uh, <coughs> I say it again. It has much less flavor. It is not strong. It has a, a very nuance, uh, very uh, intimate flavor of vanilla, but it's not strong at all. And it cannot compare with the vanilla sugar you bought from the, from the grocery shop. Those vanilla, those art artificial things has much stronger flavor. And this one just does not have that much strong flavor. But uh, I like it because it's true and I believe the real vanilla is not a very strong. And I, I believe this is the real vanilla flavoring. And uh, if there is a chance, I would like to try the real original vanilla. So I will use this one instead of artificial vanilla sugar, even it is written natural flavoring without artificial, I still prefer this one. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. We have a rest. So we will do the whole procedure from beginning to the end. And, uh, close it up. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, take off the yogurt. I, so since we have a lot of extra time, so I can use this extra time to do some blah 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 with you and uh, try to explain as much as I can. One is the honest way of how I make how, how I make yogurt. I'm tr not trying to pretend I make it healthy or not healthy, or it's the real original way how I make it. There's no pretensions, no pretending, no hiding. You will see from beginning to the end. I boil the the milk to to heat it up until it is boiling because um, <clears throat> I just want to get rid of the, the bacteria, the wrong bacteria, not good bacteria. Milk up to 80 degree, 80 degree the bac bacteria is, is killed, so 100 degree after it's boiling the bacteria, all the bacteria is killed. This time I put in new yogurt and uh, it becomes the starter. It is relatively safe. And uh, <coughs> I put some cream to make it rich, and I put some uh, um, a sugar to make it delicious. So if you are more health conscious, yeah, if you are more uh, concerned about uh, uh, sugar input, uh, fat input, then you can consider not to put these, not to put sugar and make it uh, tasteless. That is your choice. And I would like to make it uh, just uh, enjoyable to eat, so I have to sacrifice the health factor a little bit. But nothing can be real. Nothing can be better than real. I do not put artificial f flavoring, no artificial uh, sweetener, just to use the real stuff. So, <clears throat> let me show you what yogurt do I use. I use, uh, for all I have, uh, I have tried, I have tried, I have not yet tried all of the yogurt, but this one is a very good brand. 
this fahe it's uh, uh, it's very uh, very curdy very firm and very um, it it has a lot of uh, milk content it's not watery very uh, dense so this is one of the best one it has no flavor plain flavor and I always use whole cream I, I do not use reduced fat or fat free if it is fat free I do not buy and another brand is this uh, Greek God Greek gods Greek gods is also a good one some has uh, honey flavor some has uh, uh, this one is traditional traditional plain and there are blueberry flavor and uh, strawberry flavor different flavor still I use a uh, uh, whole milk the one that that is not reduced milk okay the milk is almost boiling so I will put some cream to make it more tasty it's, it is equivalent to one full spoon or, or two spoon around that you can put more or less, not too much more. If too much more will become too, too, um, too heavy. Okay. We have add vanilla, we have this one, and I would like to put some sugar also. Yes, some sugar. Put one spoonful of sugar, and this one is plain, so maybe I will put a little bit more sugar. So it's uh, we have put all the flavoring, and this time maybe I will make it a little bit different. So let's see. It's getting boiling. Cover it up, and then later on I will put into cold water to. <coughs> It's like a bain marie put into this uh, cold water and uh, let the heat transfer. This one is not so cold. And also, I need to clean up this one. Let me water my backyard. This water is much, much cooler from the tap directly, and this milk is boiling, and uh, <coughs> not very much we can do, just waiting and waiting, and uh, let's see, yeah, it's boiling. It is boiling and now we transfer into the cold water. Some people say it takes very long time. It does not 
necessarily need a lot of time. You naturally cool it down, it takes one hour or something. But if you put into cold water five minutes, ten minutes, it will be good. And uh, we will see how cool it is. And also because the yogurt is uh, is cold, so <clears throat> so it uh, absorbs some of the heat from uh, from the milk. Also, okay. Today I would like to try to make a, a yogurt with some flavoring, and this one is our homemade guan, uh, guans, qu queens, queens, I think it's called queens. And we made it at home. And we just uh, bought some queens from, um, from the farmer's market or from Whole Food. The <coughs> organic, no chemical, so it's, uh, it's real stuff also. It's not uh, too much artificial things. It's very quick, it will be cooled down. It's still too too hot. So a little bit more. Now I will prepare the little pot. One, two. Each time I make five pots because this uh, big pot contains put five pots very easily and comfortably. So five is the number. And if I use a different pot, I need uh, four or something. This one is five. So <clears throat> I will put. Uh, of battery. So it's getting as cool as wood. little pretty stuff. So I will use this ceramic spoon. on the bottom of each part one this is called 
milk in the, at the bottom. Okay, they are good. Put back into refrigerator. And now we put in the heat up a little bit of this water. It needs a little bit more uh, hotter than this. And put in the yogurt. This one is Greek God yogurt. One big chunky spoon of it. Oh, this is a good one. It's so, see, it is how firm it is. But uh, <clears throat> nothing as good as uh, uh, the chemical you buy, the starter. So this one you put into the refrigerator. And you can use this one, and also you can use uh, the original uh, starter from. We are getting some starter in a couple of weeks. We get it from friends. But this one. Is good. Okay. Get rid of the foam. You do not want to see the foam too much. Water is not hot enough. Okay, this water is perfect. Now we put it in. So I can put my finger in. That is a good indicator of temperature. So this is... Um, fruit at the bottom yogurt and that is it and every every four hours three four hours you heat it up and uh, then it is good so that is yogurt I'm making later it will become firm like uh, like uh, this one. Let's see. This one is a finished yogurt. And see how firm it is. Definitely put it in and very firm. Very refreshing. After a hot shower or after um, after a stay at home too hot so I go to I go to work and uh, my lunch is mm, so during the class I don't know in the in the break I do not have time to to eat and uh, five minutes break I can eat these and it's easy to digest and uh, 
and uh, does not need to chew too much, just uh, perfect. And give a give you immediate energy. Okay, so this is how I make yogurt. I hope this can help. Keep it warm like this. Do not make it too hot. The yogurt bacteria will develop and um, naturally by by nature it will develop so do not worry too much it takes uh, the shorter time four hours the longer time something like 10 hours it will be good okay bye bye friends enjoy